Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. So for today's video, we are switching it up just a little bit. I feel like the last couple of months, it's just been workout video, workout video, workout video, workout video. And I absolutely love that this is a fitness channel. I'll always be uploading workouts, but I do just want to add a little bit of variety just to keep it not only interesting for you guys, but for me as well. As far as like food videos or favorites or things I'm loving or work for me, I want to start sharing with you guys a little bit more so we can kind of connect on another level other than just in the gym working out so yeah so I think I'm gonna start off with the leggings because I know that's probably the number one thing most people are interested in I know I am I'm always on the hunt for like the newest best leggings to wear at the gym but first if you guys are not already subscribed I would love it if you guys would subscribe and join the little fit fam we got going on over here and let's get into the leggings all right guys first leggings I have to talk about are these right here these are the bombshell sportswear high waist thigh high leggings I think is the full name of them so these are probably the most asked about leggings on my channel I've worn them in a bajillion videos so these are the ones you guys have probably seen me wear a bunch of times in different videos these have been tried and tested and worn in the sweatiest of sweatiest the toughest of toughest the longest of longest workouts and when I say high quality I freaking mean it bombshell sportswear leggings are like in a league of their own they're definitely in a little bit of a higher price point they're not just they're not as expensive as lululemon but they're definitely not like a forever 21 so these are the original ones that i had had so the two that i picked up are the maroon color which is color is freaking gorgeous this is like their staple signature look be on the end of one of the legs just to symbolize no bombshell sportswear and then it has these i think it's called perforated i think see how it has like little like holes in it kind of like a jersey style and as you guys can see instead of this elastic waistband where it's like this they went ahead and made them high rise and it's a the same cloth just like double lined and like thicker so it's still going to help with tummy control and like keeping everything in and keeping your leggings up without having any issues of what an elastic waistband could cause but these are definitely way more high-waisted and so I have them in this color and in this beautiful black and then like royal bluish color and oh my god I absolutely love these so these leggings right here are called I love how I just show you like this like you guys can you guys get the whole picture right here you guys can see everything going on but these are the revival leggings from Alpha Lee athletics now they had come out with these a while back and I believe they had some issues or something so they went ahead and went and spent I think it was like months or something they said on their Instagram like reformulating and just like making sure that they were like the best leggings ever and when I saw all that I was like all right you got me I'll try them so I set my alarm and because I knew they'd probably sell out and picked up three colors I got the mauve which is right here the I think this is Pacific blue like how freaking gorgeous is this blue and then I got the black ones as well because who can't use a pair of black leggings like am I serious so these leggings the reason why I love them so much is because easy to show you in this color they have this beautiful outlining detail that like swoops like right under your butt so flattering then it has this like lining detail that you guys are seeing and then more of that lining it's such a subtle outline and subtle design on them but it's so flattering that it's like it's in a way like it does the most without being extra if that makes any sense at all because some leggings can definitely take it there and it's kind of like wow okay you want me to look at your butt <laughs> but these are definitely more of like a wow she has really nice legs without it being too like in your face about it they're very like compression-y they have the little logo on the back which personally logos don't bother me like if I'm buying from your brand you obviously want people to know like where they're from as far as camel toe there is a front seam however I believe the term is flatlined I think but in my opinion between the gusset right here and the flat lining I don't have any camel toe issues at all if you like hike them up they will like do the out the V outline just a little bit nothing crazy at all like they're not like sucking cupping on that area but like just a little bit which is normal because um sorry to break it to you but we are females and we do have you know the V so if it's gonna do that that's kind of a normal natural thing so that doesn't really bother me but I did just want to mention that another thing I want to point out is that in the bombshell leggings I did get a size small and these I got a medium because I saw some of the people who were sent them on their team or whatever talking about them and trying them on and how they were saying that if you are in between sizes they suggested going with the bigger size I decided to just go on a 
a limb and just try and get the mediums and worst comes to worst I just they would be a little too big but actually I am so happy I got the medium they're not bunchy or baggy at all they fit just as well as all my small leggings do except for you just have a little bit more wiggle room they're just so comfortable to work out in and I feel like I'm going on and on about these leggings but honestly you guys like I was so freaking impressed by these so these leggings are $54 but I did go on their site and I did see that they still have a lot of different sizes left so now that we're done with the leggings we are going to move in to some skincare so I only have two things I want to talk about but the first thing is like I have to tell you guys about it so this is the drunk elephant facial mask this is the TLC Sakari baby facial this mask in particular is a very strong mask it's like doing a freaking chemical peel to your face you can only use it once a week I look forward to using this mask because of the way my skin feels after I use it is like a baby's butt but that's not even the best part it's the day after I use it and I put on like if I just put on moisturizer or if I put makeup on my skin literally looks like those airbrush skin photos you see in magazines that we all know is not real and is photoshopped it lit like even my boyfriend every time I use this he's like holy crap babe your skin I've only used it for three weeks now so I still have ways to go but this mask you guys if you have skin issues and you're looking for a face mask to try out that can help with some things do your research and definitely try this out I love elephants they're so cute and I know that they're endangered and I believe this company does put a part of their proceeds or they have a charity or something like that something to do with elephants and that's why it's like called drunk elephant something goes to help elephants so that's kind of like a plus like we always love a company with a cause so this is a mask like this forever will always be in my skincare routine It's definitely worth every penny you don't need something that severe but you still want something to use for your face I love the face masks from Walmart they always have a section of like a bunch of different face masks and I just love all of them my favorite one currently is the collagen hydrogel gold mask from maskology all of the masks from Maskology are amazing, but this is this one. And then I also love the Purifying Black Charcoal Mask from Sue A. And this one has green tea extract, green caviar extract, and charcoal and a bunch of other stuff. But these are the two face masks I love. Now let's get into some supplements. Before I do, I want to say you do not need supplements. If you are an active person, you have a healthy, sustainable diet, you're on par with everything like that, having supplements in your diet as a supplement are just a great way to just kind of just help, you know, make things a little bit easier, give a little boost to certain areas in your fitness routine. But as far as thinking you need to spend your money ever on any brand that is shoved down your throat on Instagram or anywhere else, you do not need them. All you need is a healthy, sustainable diet, any supplements your doctor tells you you need that you may de be deficient in, things like that. But don't ever feel like you need to go out and spend a ton of money because supplements get very expensive very fast. That is just a little P PSA, per PSA, is that how you say it? PSA I wanted to put out there for you guys before I got into supplements because I love supplements and I definitely use them, you know, on a daily basis. But I don't want anyone to ever feel like they need to freaking scrounge up their last m amount of money just to go ahead and afford a protein powder because that's freaking ridiculous. All right, so for the longest time, I've always used the same protein powder and the same BCAAs. And this is from a brand called BSN. So here's the protein protein powder and here is the BCAAs. When I say this is the best protein powder and the best BCAAs you will ever taste in your life, take my word for it and that is why I will not switch off. My favorite flavors and the only flavors I drink is the chocolate peanut butter and I will mix this with vanilla almond milk. And then the BCAAs, my favorite are the Fruit Punch BCAAs. But this brand, I absolutely love these products and I love their products in general. And so that is why I don't mind telling you guys about them. BCAAs are really good helping with recovery so I definitely like to drink these after I work out and then protein shakes I'll either supplement it for breakfast or I'll have it before I go to sleep or if I get back from the gym so I'll have it one of those three times in the day but I never really like to drink it more than once a day just because I like to get a majority of my 
um, macros from real whole foods. And this is a huge tub of protein, but me and my boyfriend do share this. We just picked up a new one, but they do have smaller amounts as well. You can pick up and go look into, but the BSN finish first, is that just a saying or is that a part of their name? I don't know. I'll have a link below so you guys can check it out. The next thing is going to be pre-workout. So not everybody needs it. Not everybody has to take it. I personally don't get any stimulants in my diet other than from pre-workout. If I was a coffee drinker or an energy drink drinker, anything like that, I probably wouldn't take pre-workout just because of the amount of stimulants in it. But since I personally don't take any other stimulant other than pre-workout, and I also train later in the day, so I definitely like something to just give me a little bit of boost of energy, help keep me in the zone, and just kill my workouts and pre-workout is always a no fail but the pre-workout is going to be Mr. Hyde now I, this is in the peachy o flavor and I love mixing my pre-workout with Gatorade but I only use like just a little bit I'll use the peachy o and I'll mix it with strawberry watermelon Gatorade or orange Gatorade and I love the blue Raz popsicle flavor with blue Gatorade <sighs> Oh my goodness, it's so good. This is a very intense pre-workout. This has a caffeine matrix, which is basically like a blend of different sources of caffeine, of 420 milligrams per scoop. So that's a lot of caffeine to take at one time. I take three fourths of a scoop, but this workout is amazing. It's one of the best pre-workouts I've used in a long time, but it's very strong. So if you haven't taken pre-workouts before or you're newer to pre-workouts, I don't know if I would suggest this one for you guys. Um, C4 is a good one. Optimum Nutrition has a really good one. Those are two good ones, like if you're just starting out. This brand, if you are somebody who's been in the fitness game and you're looking to switch up your supplements, try out this pre-workout because it's freaking good. And the last thing I want to mention is these One Bars. This is the Maple Glazed Donut flavor. I picked these up from Walmart. They only have a gram of sugar, 20 grams of protein. These are so delicious. They're probably like the best tasting protein bar on the market in my opinion. And they always have, I wonder if this one has it because this is a newer one I just opened tonight. They always come with like a little... This one doesn't have it. The last two I picked up, they had like a little like dollar off coupon in them. All right, well, fine. Maybe I won't talk about them. No, I'm just kidding. So these um, are freaking delicious. I also love the birthday cake flavor. So that is all my current fitnessy related favorites at the moment. I hope this video wasn't too long. I feel like I was rambling on forever and forever, but these are just my current favorites. I'm absolutely in love with all of them. Again, check the description bar below if you guys wanna check anything out for yourselves, as well as if you have any other video suggestions, please feel free to comment them below. I'm always looking for new different ideas and things to incorporate on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next one, bye guys.